Yeah, so I'm just wondering what these statues relate to. Uh, obviously the plaque is talking about uh, St. Mary behind the free school. So this is St. Mary's Church. It's obviously connected with the school. language and culture and today I'm standing next to the oldest pub or the oldest London pub by the river uh, and it's called the Mayflower so we can see that pubs in the UK uh, always have the in their title like the Mayflower here or the Red Lion okay and opening times. I hope you can see that. Um, actually, this is unusual. It's normal for pubs to close at 11, not 10. Um, it's interesting that you know, all the pubs in the UK have been shut um, since March, so that's a really important part of our culture that's, uh, that's been lost. And then on Monday, you can see that open from 12 to 10 and on Saturday from 12 to 10 and there's food served as well yeah so quite a lot of pubs also serve food hot food which would be usually like traditional English food like Yorkshire pudding pies chips roast that kind of thing yeah okay it depends on, on where you go though and you also have gastro pubs as well Gastro pub is like uh, halfway between a restaurant and a pub, but you know it's all, all types of quality, all types of menus. Yeah, and we have some. Yeah, we, we have some kegs of beer. We have a fire escape sign there. Uh, so it's quite interesting because the uh, kegs are blocking the fire escape there. Uh, so. <laughs> no parking at any time, fire escape. So that means you're not allowed to park there. And obviously the fire escape is the door you have to keep clear uh, in case people need to escape from the pub. Okay, so put a sign here. It says, unattended children will be sold to the local workhouse. Now, um, that meant in the past that uh, children who didn't have parents with them, they were unattended, um, were sold to like the local workshop where homeless or poor people would go uh, to work if they didn't have a home. So interesting, they've kept that sign there. You can hear the thunder there, very atmospheric. Also, uh, the name of the most famous ship in America, a uh, ship which set sail in 1620 uh, with, um, with the first uh, American settlers. Um, actually, they went from London to Plymouth first. Eventually, they set sail from Plymouth and went to Plymouth. So that's pretty lucky. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you've got any questions about what you've seen or if you've got any questions about UK language or culture, uh, please leave them in the comments section below. Bye for now.